will pay a $25 an hour minimum wage in their tightest labor markets. But either way, no matter how you look at it, $24 an hour for Target, that's pretty insane, right? Like, and just to put it into perspective, right? So, calculator, right? I'll do the calculator because I really don't feel like doing math right now, right? So, $24 per hour, typical average work week, 40 hours, equals $960 per week. Times that by 52 weeks, you have an annual income of $49,920 for Target, right? And now, obviously, of course, it depends on the tightest labor market areas, which might be a little bit more of like a higher cost of living area. But let's just say like this is 50K, right? $49,920, right? But basically 50K. That's a good amount of money when you work at Target. Like, I mean, just to put it simply, that's a good amount of money if you're working at Target, especially if you're like not a manager, right? So here we go, right into the story. Workers at Target stores and distribution centers in places like New York, where where competition for finding and hiring staff is the fiercest, could see starting wages as high as $24 an hour this year. Now that being said, they said like New York, not necessarily only New York, because you know some people might try to like think, well, you know, $24 an hour in New York really isn't that much money, and you would be correct. But let's say that it's someplace else. I don't know, maybe like Atlanta or something, or maybe in the middle of a like like a major city, but in like a more rural state, right, where the cost of living is pretty low compared to like New York, but the competition might be so high that they might be required to pay someone this just to get a body there, right? So the Minneapolis-based discount retailer helmed by CEO Brian Cornell said Monday that it will adopt minimum wages that range from $15 to $24 an hour, with the highest pay going to hires in the most competitive markets. It currently pays a universal starting wage of $15 an hour. The new starting wage range is part of a company plan to spend an additional $300 million on its labor forces this year that will also include broader, faster access to health care coverage for its elderly workers. The market has changed, said Cornell in an interview with the Associated Press. We want to continue to have an industry-leading position, so Target set a new market but new marker for the retail industry back in 2017 when it announced it would increase hourly wages to $15 by 2020. But U.S. labor market dynamics have changed during the pandemic with many employers facing severe worker shortages. And many of Target's rivals are now paying a minimum of $15 per hour or more. And here's the thing, right? Technically speaking, I don't think there's really anything wrong with necessarily increasing the minimum wage for their places because if that's how much they got to pay to simply hire someone, then that's what they got to pay because they need a body, right? But for the worker that ends up getting paid that, because here's the reality, that is not going to like last forever, right? Like that minimum pay amount is not going to last forever. So... If I was one of these individuals who decided to work for Target for this amount of money, right, knowing that this probably will not last forever, I would probably save as much cash as I can to help me make or transition into the new, like, uh, room of life, right? The new step of life, right? Because if you save up a lot of your money, but first, if you pay off your debt, then save off, save up a lot of your money, you could potentially pay for some training 
like specific training that might be required by Target to move up the ladder. So instead of $24 an hour, now you're making like $40 an hour or $50 an hour. You're still working for Target, but now you get more added skills. Maybe now you're like a manager or something. And now you're making like, you know, maybe 70 to to $100,000 per year now, right? So that's just something to really think about, right? How can I utilize this increased amount of pay to my advantage for the long term, right? Like how can I use this to basically turn my income to where I want it to be five years from now, where I want to get my life to five years from now, right? That's the way to really like look at this because a lot of people get into these jobs that like are like raising their minimum wages with very like short term thinking like, oh, I just want to get a job. I just want I need this job, get this like paycheck and then maybe I could just go spend more money going out to clubs or something or buy more games or something or like a new like PlayStation. Whereas if you were to do it really clever, you would actually utilize this probably massive like increase in money to pay down your debts if you have any, save up an emergency fund, maybe put some money towards investments or pay for training that will get your income from the $24 an hour all the way up to $50 an hour to $100 an hour, right? Like you could get like a license, you could get a certification that could potentially dramatically increase the amount of money that you're making and that's the way that you should really utilize something like this and let's say that you are about to get hired or you just got hired from a increased minimum page job right and you don't necessarily like this job but you're working there because they're paying more well use the money to your advantage right like if you were already working like a minimum wage job at like, I don't know, like seven, eight, twelve dollars or whatever per hour to now fifteen or twenty four dollars an hour, use that money to your advantage, right? Do everything you can to really make this money work for you, right? So that you could get to the point where you have more options available to you, right? Because then If you were to get some certification or some sort of training, you would be able to have the option between choosing this $24 per hour minimum wage job or a $50 per hour job, right? Or potentially working from home with some sort of training or skill set that you developed while working this job because it pays you more, right? Because the cool thing about getting more money, like making more money, is that it gives you a little bit more options available to you to potentially increase the more options that you have later down the road. And that's just something to really think about because a lot of people kind of like squander this excess cash when they shouldn't. They should like manage the money well to help for their future.